What's up guys, how's everyone doing? Today I'm going to be showing you how to pick up and swap weapons. But before we start this video, if you would like early access to my content, exclusive shout outs on my videos, or have direct contact with me for assistance on your project, please, please check out my Patreon. I work really hard on my videos, so any support is appreciated more than you know. I'll leave a link in the description. Now that's out of the way, let's dive into this video. First things first, we need a way of interacting with our weapons. So we're going to create a blueprint interface. So right click under blueprint, create blueprint interface. Blueprint interfaces are used to store blueprint functions, but they can also be used to fire events to specific actors, which is why we're creating one. When the interface pops up, create a function called pick up weapon, then compile and save this. Next, we need to create the actual blueprint for our weapon. So right click and click blueprint actor. Next, add a static mesh, then select your weapon, then add a capsule collision covering the entire weapon. We'll use this to detect if we're close enough to pick up the weapon. And then on your static mesh, under collision, set the collision to custom, and then set the mesh to ignore collision from cameras and pawns. This will prevent our camera or our player colliding with our weapon when we equip it. Now we're gonna add our blueprint interface we made earlier to this blueprint. So under class settings, interfaces, add your interface. Now we've added the interface, we can now call the event pick up weapon. So right click, type in pick up weapon, bring this in and we'll use this later. Now compile and save this. So back on our content browser, open up your character's skeleton. Then depending where you want your weapon to be attached to your character, select that bone, right click and add socket. Call this a name which corresponds to your socket. I'm gonna call mine weapon underscore back. To get this socket in the right place, you can right click the socket and add a preview weapon so you can position it easier. Move the socket's location and rotation until you're happy with it, then save this. Now we need to blueprint our character so he can call the pick up weapon event. So open up your character blueprint and create a variable called equip weapon with the variable type as actor. We'll use this later. Next, create a keyboard event of your choice. I'm going to use the E key. Then bring in a get overlapping actor node and select actor. Attach this to a for loop with break. I used a for loop, but that was a mistake on my part and I actually changed this later. So use a for loop with break. These nodes will cycle through all the actors our character is overlapping. Pull off the for each loop with break and bring in the does implement interface. Select our interface that we made and plug this into a branch. B and click for the branch shortcut. This is a check to ensure we only interact with objects which have the interact interface blueprint. Pull off the for loop and bring in a not equals node by typing in exclamation mark then equals. Then control drag in our equipped weapon variable and plug this together. Bring in a branch with B and click and connect this up. This is a check to ensure that we don't try re-pick up a weapon we've already picked up and is attached to our back. Then we're gonna call our pickup interface event. So right click and type in pick up weapon and bring that in. Connect this to the branch, pull off our for loop array element and plug that into the event. Then coming off our pick up event, plug that into the for loop break. You can double click the wire if you want to add a reroute node and tidy things up a bit. So now we can fire off the pick up event, we need to actually blueprint it. So open up your weapon, bring in a get player character node and cast to your character. Then convert this to a pure cast. Pull off this and bring in our character mesh. Then drag off this and bring in the attach actor to component. So this node will attach our weapon blueprint to the character mesh. Change the location and rotation to snap to target. And for socket name, put in the socket name we created earlier. Mine was called weapon underscore back. Control W the character ref, then pull off the cast and bring in the equipped weapon variable we made. We want to first check if there's already a weapon equipped, so bring in a is valid off this with the question mark. If there isn't a weapon equipped, we want to set the equipped weapon to this weapon. So pull off our character cast and set equipped weapon, then plug these together. So if there isn't a weapon equipped, we're going to set equipped weapon to this weapon and then we're going to attach it to the character via the slot weapon back. If there is a weapon equipped, we want to detach it from the character by pulling off the equipped weapon variable and bringing in the detach node, 
so the equipped weapon is no longer attached to our character. We then want to send the weapon we just detached from our character to the location of the weapon we're picking up, so the weapons swap places. So control drag in the default scene route of the blueprint and get the world rotation and location. Then pulling off the equipped weapon, set world location and rotation and plug all these together. And finally, connect this to the set equipped weapon. One more thing we need to do that I actually forgot all about is we need to pull off the set equipped weapon and bring in a reference to the self node. And that's all the blueprinting done. Let's do a quick recap. We made a blueprint interface and gave it the pickup callable event. We made a socket on our skeleton under spine three and called it weapon back. In our weapon, we then assigned this interface to the blueprint and brought in the event pickup. In our character, when we pressed the key, we scanned for overlapping actors. If the actor had the interface attached and wasn't already picked up, we would fire off the pickup interface event to that actor. In our weapon, when the pickup event fired, we checked if there was an equipped weapon. If there wasn't, we set the equipped weapon to this weapon and attached it to the socket weapon back. If there was an equipped weapon, we detached it and then sent it to the location of the weapon we were picking up before setting equipped weapon to this weapon and attaching it to the socket. And that's everything guys. If you liked this video, it'd be so awesome if you could support me on Patreon. I hope to build up my Patreon team so I can spend more time on tutorials and produce even better content. Like, comment, subscribe, and join my Discord to keep updated with new video releases. Peace. Right.